Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in today's lesson we're going to be looking at how we can get Microsoft Word to type for you. If you're tired of typing and you just want to talk and let Microsoft do all the work then this is the video for you. So let's show you how Microsoft can do that. So here I have my Microsoft document open and if you notice right here, if I go all the way here, do you see there's the dictate button. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to start recording whatever I say and trying to write the text for whatever I say. But just take note, I'm going to be using some other phrases to be able to add punctuation and things like that. So we're going to click on dictate and this option opens up. You'll see we can start the recording over there, the dictation. There it started. It's made a little noise. And if you hear, it's starting to write down everything that I am saying right now. But to do this, you also need to add some punctuation, like a full stop. Full stop. So there we go. So it added a full stop at the end. So that's great. There's other punctuation that you can add, like a comma comma and other things like that full stop new line so there you can see that by saying new line it put it on a new line for a new paragraph you can also use the words delete word or delete sentence if you want to get rid of some previous text so let's try that Delete word, delete sentence. So there we go. You can do that full stop. You can do this full stop. And then you can do things like this as well. Full stop, delete three sentences. And there we go. So when you want to stop dictation, you can just use the word exit dictation. And there it stopped. You'll notice that there's some settings over here that you can also make use of. You will notice that I use quite a few key phrases in order to get that punctuation. And here's a couple of the key words that you can use like comma, full stop, exclamation mark, semicolon. That's what you need to specify if you want to make use of those features. There are other commands like these that you can also use like delete the last X words or sentences using backspace, delete, undo. You can start numbered lists and make sure that you say the end the list once you have done and so on. You can try those ones out as well. You can even include emoticons by saying smiley face, frowny face and that'll actually add the emoticon or emoji into your text as well. So there we go. That's all you need to do in order to get Microsoft Word to write whatever you say. For more useful videos for the teacher in the classroom, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Teacher Tips. Make sure you click on that like button, subscribe, share us with your friends so we can help them as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.